Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther and this is Still S Fashion Talk. If this is your first time of stopping by, you are welcome to the family. Kindly hit that subscribe button up there if it is free of charge. Hello friends, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make Iro and Buba, the easiest way to make Iro and Buba. So I'll be using this Asho K for the Iro. I'll be using this for the Buba. Okay, previously I've done a video on how to join your gilly. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. I'll drop the link on the description box so you go and check it out. It's part of this um, full package. It's a three-piece cloth. So go and check it out. So let's start by drafting the pattern here on the pattern paper. So I'll transfer it to my fabric. The reason is that I don't want any stain of chalk on this white. I'm going to be drafting the pattern here first and I'll transfer it to this fabric. So I'll be using my pattern paper, my ruler, my marker, and I'm going to be using my scissors and tape also so so first let's assume this is the length this is the length of the fabric you are using this is how to fold your booba you fold this way this way so you can see what i'm doing and you fold this way Then do it again. This is the length. You fold the snake like this. And you fold this way. So this is the starting point, the shoulder line. It's not going to be open. Normally the booba does not open at the shoulder. So this is going to be the shoulder and this is going to be the length. Hope you understand. So, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be folding it this way. I just want to grab it like this. So, let's assume we already folded our uh, rubber like this because of the length I needed for this tutorial. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is for you to know the, the measurements you use. Why folding your fabric is you use the biggest measurement to fold out your fabric. If the bust you're working with is bigger than the hip, you use the bust to fold your fabric. But if the hip is, is bigger than the bust, so you use the hip measurement to fold your, your fabric. You use the hip measurement to fold your fabric. So this booba that I'm making, the hip is bigger than the bust. So I'm going to be using the hip measurements to determine the, the quantity of material I'm going to be using for it. So I'm working with the hip of 20, 28 inches. So Buba does not have zipper. It uh, doesn't have zipper. So we is a free a free cloth, a free top that, that that you can easily wear. So it has to have a lot of ease. So that it will be easy for you to wear. So I'm working with a hip of 28 inches. 28 divided by 4 is 7 inches. So this is my 7 inches. I'm going to be adding 2 and a half inches ease allowance. If you add 2 and a half inch to 7 inch, that is 9.5 inches already. So I'm going to be adding seam allowance of 1 inch. That is 10.5 inch all together so this is what i'm going to do the first thing i'm going to do is to mark the length i'm working with the length of 22 inches and i'm going to be adding two inch hemming allowance to it you know we are not going to be joining it at the shoulder so this is it so i'm just going to connect this line into a straight line like this like this and I'll do the same to this like this so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'll be marking my my ten and a half inches all the way from those parts downward 
till I get to the M line. 10.5 inches. Like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my lines together with my ruler. Just going to be connecting my lines like this together. Okay, I'm trying to confirm my ten and a half inches here too. So I'll be connecting my lines together like this. Just connect my lines together. Sorry. So this is the line. Sorry, it might not be straight. Let me just try and straighten it up like this. So this is my line. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be marking the neckline. I'm going to be using three inches by three inches, three inches depth and three inches length so for an adult you can use four by four four inches depth and four inches length but for those i'm making it for a chart of about uh, okay I'm making it for a chart of 10 years oh she's 10 years so So I'm just connecting the lines together like this. And I'm going to be using my French curve to bring out the neckline like this. It's hard to be free at the neckline so that it will be easy for the person to wear it freely. So this is it. I'm just going to cut it out like this. It's a very simple pattern to make. So for this part, I'm going to be using a... I'm going to be using 8 inches for, for our armhole opening. It's a free one. It's going to be free at the armhole so that she'll be able to be free. It's a very free. It's not a fitted cloth. It's not a fitted blouse. So this is the arm opening. I'm going to be notching this part so that I'll know that my armhole stops here. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut out the neckline for, the, for both. This is for both the front. For both front and back like this I cut out the neckline and I'll cut it out like this so I time I'm done cutting it out I'll place it on my mini fabric and cut it out so I'll come back and show you hey friends this is the sleeve so I'm working with the sleeve length of of 14 inches but I added two inches in allowance and I'll out of the two inches I'll be joining it I'll be joining it to the body of the the booba so this is 16 all together 16 inches all together so for the breadth of the of the sleeve you remember I said the arm opening the arm o is eight inches this is it and you remember we added we added one inch for side seam allowance so this is nine inches i just mark out nine inches here for the ample so and this is the length this is the length here so i'm just going to go ahead and connect i'm just going to go ahead and cut out the the sleeve so i'll place both pattern on my the sleeve and the main bodies on my fabric and cut it out then i'll come and show you the next thing to do so friends, I've gone ahead to cut out my fabric. This is it. This was what I was explaining. By the time we open it up, this is how it's going to look like. And these are the two sleeves. So what I'm going to do is to notch this part like this. So that I'll be able to know that this is where the shoulder starts. And I will notch where the 8 inches is. Which is the arm opening from this part. So I'm just going to notch it. This is my eight inches here. So give it a notch like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is to this is my the first thing I'm going to do is to use my bias to turn the neckline 
this is a neckline hope you can see it had to be white so that it would be free for the person to wear it freely that the person will be able to wear it freely i'm going to be turning the neckline with this bias so i'm going to be using uh, i'll be attaching my sleeves like this i'll pick one of the sleeve first of all i'm going to be aiming the bottom of the sleeve by the allowance i left like this so i'm just going to grab the sleeve like this and place right side facing right side i'm going to be stitching it and i'll end here stitch the other side so i'll come back and show you the next thing i'm going to do so guys if you want to see how i'm going to be sewing the wrapper which is the row with this ofi then keep watching this video to the end i'm gonna have to use my bias to turn my neckline i've also attached the sleeve to the booba and i also overlock the rough edges this is it so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be aiming the bottom of the clothes by the allowance i left i'll fold half an inch inward like this and i'll fold one and a half inches like this i'm going to be aiming this front and the back panel once i'm done aiming it then i'll fold it this way right side face right side i'm going to be stitching it by the allowance i left one inch all the way but i'm going to be leaving it's going to be having a slit at the side so my slit is going to be like um four inches i'll leave it four inches as a slit so i'll leave four inches and i will secure it like this i'll stitch it all the way and i'll come like this and close the sleeve like this i'll do that to the both side and i'll come back and show you the next step so i'm going ahead to stitch the side this is it and the bottom this is it and this is the slit i was talking about this is the side so the next thing i'm going to do is this slit i'm going to be folding it this way i'm going to be stitching it like this all the way so this part and i'll come down hope you understand i'll stitch this way and i'll come this way and i'll stitch it down i'll do that both sides and i'll come back and show you the final look of our booba uh, this is it this is the part i was talking about i've gone ahead to stitch it down look at how neat our booba is so the next thing i'm going to do is just to notch this part watch me closely i'm notching this part so that by the time i flip it inside out it will relax very well so i'll do the same thing to this part like this and that is the end of the bar i'm turning it inside out and i'm done with the booba i'm turning it inside out like this and i'm giving it a good press and i'm going to iron it very well this is it so the next thing is i'm moving to the sewing of the wrapper which is zero i'm going to be using this for the wrapper right here i have um i have five pieces of this here and this i show you measured 6.5 inches this is it so i cut out five of it one two three four five so the length is 60 inches but i added two inches for the side emmy this is it this is the two inches here so this is how i'm going to be joining them like this i'll place it on top of each other like this and i will join it all the way if you haven't watched my videos on how to join your guillotine properly i'm going to drop the link on the description box go and check it out so right here this is the one i'll be using to tie the wrapper at the back this is 15 inches so i'm just going to be slashing it i'm going to be cutting it into two equal parts like this all the way like this by the time i'm done cutting it like this i'm going to be folding it this way this way like this this way and i'm going to be stitching it all the way down so i will stitch everything then i'll come back and show you the next thing so friends i've gone ahead to join the five pieces together this is one two three four five so the next thing i'm going to do is to be folding it i'm going to be aiming this edge 
so that it will not unravel by the time I'm done. So I'll fold it this way, half inch, half inch again, and I'll, I'm going to be stitching it all the way to this part. So I will do the same thing to the other side. By the time I'm done hemming it, so I'm going to be placing, placing it this way, and I will secure it down like this. So I'll come back and show you the final look of the euro, which is the wrapper. So friends, this is the final look of our euro and booba. Hope you can see. And that's the gele on top of it. So if you want to see how I made this gele, you can check the link on the description box. You see it. This is the, let me come close. This is the booba and this is the euro. This is it. It's for a girl a girl of 10 years old so i just wore it on the mannequin so that we can see how it's going to look so if i see if this tutorial has been helpful to you please please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload new videos my name is esther and this is qs fashion of don't stop lenny keep lenny bye bye <laughs>